Load myself here.
Bjorn and Bloodtooth's cave should be close by. Ruid's men tore through it. Eivor! You made it! Dunwich! It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Bruthir Valdis and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Dunwich. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. I should be cautious around here. I need your eyes, my friend. Thank you. 
So kind. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day!
You. I don't know you. You don't need to know my name. You won't have a use for it beyond today. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now? After five happy years away from your stinking balls. I called you, Ruit. You? Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia? And Valdis's husband-to-be. No. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. <laughs> Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. Wait, the... the hazel is laid. The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdus and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of Sheep Shit! I'm ready!
If I read these tracks right, Northmen, the work of Reavers who struck hard without mercy. Go, Zulin. Avenged, my friend. They're breaking off. They've given up for now. That's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back.
Ruid's men will press the advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero, there's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Elmenham will not recover. None of us will. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nali, come back, you snake! Here, little one. Got you, little mouse biter. anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider.
I'll take an old. Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? All in. Skull. Ah, we drink. Come on, I need a challenger. Too strong for you. Another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I've failed him again. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruid's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Bor Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming long before we reached the walls. We raise a fit, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaedford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Fenir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any hope, the Evort remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. And above all, we shall remember the man's devotion to God and his mission. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into the fence to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. 
It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me how far I fell short. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. <laughs> what did you expect, brother? Sword and silver? We had a bit of fun. That's what matters. Theobald, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. No time to waste what the Lord has given us. What about you? Everything is gone, Rishida. Everything. Ah, oh, my friend, we will rebuild, I promise you. I ain't got to send them off, Angela. You have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two, but you're meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a lost cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off for Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength and join us for the fight to come. A bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow where you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it, and I'll know you kept your word. The sinning that he fought on young Piotrus, and he swat me. You there, Dane. A word, if you will. You called to me. We heard you talking with the Reeve, and we wish to fight beside you. We owe Oswald for his good deeds and fair rule. I'm glad to hear it. Go to the ruins north of Buch Castle. The army gathers there.
This place is heavily guarded. Kingsbury, infested with Rhodes men. Hello, Nolly. You're settling in well enough. Now earn your keep.
time to sound the horn and signal victory. The Reeve has come to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. They of Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burt Castle. Fieldward has answered the call. I should join Finia in our forward camp. <laughs> the Kingsbury Horn has inspired more than a few farmers to action.
I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. And I'll rise in his stead. Easy, girl. My summoning works. Your horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I am the great summoner, first of the name. Thank you. <laughs> Next time, summon a bridge. Maybe the horse will have a better life now. You! You little rats! Come back with my horse! That horn came from Elmenham. Baldis must have got to them. The brothers fleet, gathered and ready. are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. Its men will be here soon. More than his. The Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. Forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruud's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor.
Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed! For Oswald! For Oswald! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. of your actions in Thaeborn has spread like wildfire. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. It may be they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear den. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruid's shit stains will see us coming. to open these gates! Charge! For Oswald! Put that glorious man here! Rude dogs are all barred! Prepare to cut them down! This is for Oswald! You're gonna die on my blaze! We'll feed the raven! That's it! Oh! For you! Fall before me! Let 
Let's hit them hard! will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop the <clears throat> silence, fool. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? If this swine is your prize, come and <clears throat> get him. <clears throat>
Anglia have spoken. The Saxon lover comes to fight. You are finished here, Ruid. Your battle is not yet won, Oswald. A miserable clan you lead, Ruid. Yes, and one that has bled this country dry for two of us. Yeah. East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you! Yeah. That groveling worm in a cage! You must be blind to stand with such a man! Ah! For all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you! Valhalla's my destiny! That fate will not be met today! Oh. This land is rife with weakness, and you are just another blighted dot upon it! Nothing a little fire cannot purge! Danes fighting for a Saxon king. The Saxons will scorn this day. I will enjoy this. Why does a Dane fight tooth and nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of... Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. I should speak with Oswald. See if he's well. Praise the old father. Oswald lives! Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you're not asleep. Well fought, well fought, the both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. 
And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. in full bloom. Come, see my wares. Yes, this is a good look. will look very good. You have an eye for craftsmanship. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Finish looking around. I must take my leave. So long.
Schulde zu Neschankern auf Scherben. spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor! I'm so glad you've made it. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you crowned. And now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? 
Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. She stormed Borges, got through it to his knees, and let Oswald hold him for trial? I could hardly believe my ears either. Yes, that's it! As with everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, uh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Skull, Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good! Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. Someone your boots. Strong, but I am stronger. <laughs> I stronger than me. You drink as well as Valdis. 
Now that I would pay to see. Speaking of payment, where is my silver? Here. Well earned, Wolfkist. Sweet swine! <laughs> Come join me! <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf, and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again, and it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and... I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. But don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom. Your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Be plain about it, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? A good plow sword is a rare thing. Lead the way. or two in some skull song. <laughs> I'll remember that for all time, Eivor.
I will too, brother. The sagas are never this good. This night Enough fun and games. Glorious. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves and the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all! My king, he... <laughs> the sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. No square, only sweat and blood. He may be wounded, but don't let your guard down. Let's settle this. I will bury you, Saxon. I'll take all that is yours. Should a king show mercy to one so malevolent, so cruel, I'll not give you the satisfaction of a good death, for my god forbids such cruelty. Therefore you are outcast. From this moment on, you have won. My life is yours. Your life is God's. Now go! Leave my kingdom and never return! I do not understand this Saxon religion. Oswald is a coin. One side mercy, the other courage. There are few like him, I'll admit. 
Saxon or Dane. Such a strange display. Courage and restraint like I've never seen. With all that's happened, with all the chaos ruined wrought, still, Oswald found reason to spare him. It's a strange thing. A remarkable thing. From what inner spring does such kindness run? I'd like to know. With my duty here fulfilled, I now choose East Anglia. I fight for you, my king. Rise, old friend. You're embarrassing me. Be well, Finir. Your choice is a bold one. You continue to surprise Oswald of Ilmenham. Thank you, Eivor. When we first met, I made an oath. I promised you an alliance. You did. You'll have it. So long as I draw breath. Until next time, King. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Brodia. Eivor, you will be missed. I gave you a few good memories to keep. <laughs> that you did. Take care of your king, Brodia. He will need you in the years to come. You seem sad, Gunnar. I am. Sven was a good friend to me over the years. Was? What do you mean? Oh no, Eivor. You've been away. Sorry to say. Sven passed away not two nights ago in his sleep. <sighs> no. How is Tovi? Taking it hard, very hard. You ought to go and have a word with her. Far as I know, she's barely left his grave. Anyhow. You probably need something, eh? I'm off. Be well, friend. Until next we meet. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. 
If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I will build you something when I can. Have patience. I will see you later, friend. Dai dulci fruimini! I don't know how to draw without your hand. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Toby, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know... I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. I am sorry I was not here to see you off, old friend.
I would like to see what you have in stock. You have a keen eye for quality. There. Better than before. One's pretty good. You are looking powerful. I have to go. See you soon. Put that gear to good use out there. Roland, Holger, why all this shouting? I could trade that hat for two of your horses. Silence, both of you! Randvi, I demand that this... Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rot disappointed word! Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now! There is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Ah. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rohan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger. Let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan! As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. 
I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alcafer's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do? May I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some way... Absolutely not. Silver is the... Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. Yes, I'd heard. The poor man. I wish I could have spent more time with him before the end. I think we all wish that. Tovi most of all.
Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor. Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. The children must have missed you, poor fellow. Or they might be singing a different song. It looks like something attacked you. An animal. No key here. I should look around. A shame Wallace isn't here to butcher you. But I need to see if you're carrying a key. Free that wolf, and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. 
Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Anymore! Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Da Wolfka. It has an absurd sound, just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. 